Um, welcome to Ogan Babu. Today we are present with a patient with cholelithiasis along with uh, hypertension. Our plan is to do laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Now we are preparing for the general anesthesia. At first we are checking the PACU list. Then we are checking the monitor to see the vitals, if they are within the normal range or not. We are taking consent from the patient and checking if the ubula is visible. As the ubula is not visible, we will go for video laryngoscope. We have already prepped that. Here are some drugs that we are going to use for general anesthesia. Now we are fixing the 100% oxygen and other gases. And now we are uh, starting the general anesthesia. At first we are doing pre-oxygenation for five minutes with 100% oxygen and here we are doing induction with fentanyl that is 2 microgram per kg body weight and propofol will be given after that. That will be 2 milligram per kg body weight. We are giving propofol here. We are continuing the pre-oxygenation. We will do that for exactly five minutes. We are now checking the patient if she is ready. Oxygenation is continued for some other minutes. Here we are giving Saksa. We are checking the bag if it is properly infiltrating or not. Now we are introducing the the oxygen and other gases lines are fixed. Here we did the intubation uh, with video laryngoscope cause it was Malampati grade three. Now we are going to auscultate the both lungs. If we can see the breath sounds properly on both sides or not.
After the intubation, the maintenance is done with nitrous oxide, oxygen, isoflurin, and a muscle relaxant that is long acting, vecuronium. Now the patient is ready for operation. Uh, here we are explaining the five steps of general anesthesia. In short, we did pre-oxygenation for five minutes with 100% oxygen. We did the induction with fentanyl, two microgram per kg body weight, and propofol, two milligram per kg body weight. Then we did the intubation due to malampathy grade three with the help of video laryngoscope. After uh, intubation, we did the maintenance with nitrous oxide, oxygen, isoflurin, and the vecuronium. That's how the patient is maintained during the operation. We are checking. Here, now we are done with the operation. The operation is successfully over. We are turning off the isofluorine gas. We will turn off all the gases, the volatile agent and the nitrous oxide, but the oxygen will remain. Yes, sir. The nitrous oxide is turning off. The oxygen is going to a high level. We will maintain that. Here now we will check if the patient is spontaneously breathing or not, if there is any drive. We are now doing the suction to remove any secretions that may be present. The suction is done properly. Here we are ready with the reverse agent that is neon stigmine and atropine. We usually use neostigmine 1 ampoule per 10 kg and atropine that is used in a dose 1 ampoule per 30 kg. As the patient is 70 kg, we are using the agent's drugs according to that. We will now deflate the cuff. We are checking the monitor to see the vitals. The oxygen is still maintained. We are now checking if the patient can respond. The patient can already open her eyes. We will now gradually withdraw the endotracheal tube. We are maturing the section once again to remove any residual secretions and gradually the tube is withdrawn. Again, the oxygenation is done to remove, to wash out any kind of gases that were present, that is some volatile agents and nitrous oxide. We are again checking if the patient is response and we are continuing the oxygen as well.
Once the oxygenation is over and the patient can respond, we will shift the patient to post-operative for further management. She's protruding tongue. She's ready for going to post-operative. We will now shift the patient. Oxygenation is continued and the patient will be is being shifted. Thank you for staying with us. This was a critical case, but we tried to represent it properly. Hope it helps you. Thank you. Thank you.